Welcome to the channel of Marco Direct. My name is Tim Heubig and I will be your host for this video. In this video I want to compare different spool systems and also show you how to load them. So there are three main different loading systems. So there is the Patterson which has the Super System Type 4 which has the auto load feature. Then we also have the AP which also has auto load and then we have the Chobo one. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to show you the differences in the different film reels and I'm also going to show you how to load them. All of those film reels are also easily extendable to take 120 film. So in this configuration right now it takes 135 or 35 mm film. And if you go ahead and over rotate it here and also again then go in, you will see that now you can load in 120 film. So this will take a load of 120 film. And this goes without saying for all of the different reels and that are available um, from AP, Patterson and also Chobo. So that means that all of the three reels are very versatile because you can load 135 and also 120 film in all of them. Now I've been taking a roll of film that has been already opened. So this has to be done in complete darkness of course usually. But since I want to illustrate it for you I've decided to open up a roll. So this is the film that was on this roll. As you can see it is exposed so now it's pretty much unusable. Load the reels in complete darkness because otherwise your film will be ruined. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to show you how to load the different reels and I'm going to start with um, the Patterson system. What I recommend is take a pair of scissors and really go ahead and cut the film very nicely and also make the edges round because that will really ease up your process. Now I'm going to show you how to load the film properly into the reel. So the Patterson is fairly easy. It has the ball bearings right here that are made out of plastic so that they don't rust and it also has the auto load feature. So you go ahead and take your film and you just simply drag it across the ball bearing so that it will grip. And what I would recommend is to place your fingers always right here where the um, reel is beginning and then you just rotate it. So you just take one hand and rotate it further then take the other and you can repeat that. As you can see it is a very fast process and you can really easily load the film on your reel. So that's pretty much it. Now the film is completely loaded onto the reel and you're pretty much done. You can now go ahead and place your reel in the developing tank. If you want to open up the spool again you just simply over rotate it as when you also want to do the 120 conversion and then the film will come off the reel easily and you can now hang it to dry if it's developed. So now that we've successfully loaded the Patterson reel, I want to show you how to load the AP reel. The AP reel is also a self feeding reel and it also has the ball bearings, so loading it will be as easy as with the Patterson. So now you will take your film and you've been cutting it as I've previously explained. So you simply go ahead, take the film and drag it through here over the ball bearings, which is again essential. And then you just start to rotate one hand forward and the other forward until the film is on the reel. So loading the patterns and also AP reels is very easy. Also you have to consider you have to do this in complete darkness of course. So therefore you really need to have a feel for where to place the film and you also need to get some practice. But with the AP and also the Patterson, I think it's the most easiest and also convenient way to load your film into the reel. If you want to get your film out of the reel with the AP version, it goes the same as with the Patterson. So you simply twist it until it's over and then your film will come off the reel very easily and you can again reassemble your reel. Now I want to show you how to load film into the last of our reels, which is the Chobo reel. So the Chobo reel in comparison to all of the other reels I've been presenting you so far is not an auto load system. So you have to grip your film on the side, but I will explain you how to do that now. So again you take your film and cut it as I've previously explained. You simply go ahead and drag your film through here again. Um, then you make sure to drag it over here and you can see on the sides, on the very sides of the film, you have some free space where, where, you, where you won't touch the emulsion side and you will place your fingers right here and you will act um, as with all of the other reels. You will simply rotate one hand forward then the other forward and every time you start to rotate with the other hand, one, the finger on the other side will let loose. So it goes without saying, so it's again the same process pretty much, but you have to um, place your finger on the side so the film will keep feeding onto the reel and your film will be loaded properly. It's not as fast as the auto load system and also not completely as convenient. So I personally prefer the um, auto load systems also for beginners and also you have to consider again it's in complete darkness. So therefore loading it you really have to be sure and you also don't want to ruin your film. But the Chobo can also really go fast as you can see right here. So you just have to tap and then you can also load the film onto the reel. But it's not as convenient as with the AP or Patterson. So another film is also probably loaded on the Chobo. It is also not really that hard to do. You just have to keep track of putting your finger on the side right here. 
to hold the film in place and also to supply the film the film reel with new film over time. And now if you want to open up the reel, it's the same as with all the other reels. You just um, twist it and it comes loose and now you have your film and you can hang it up to dry. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to load the reels. Loading film on the reels is not really that difficult, it's fairly easy. Um, just to summarize it, AP and also the Patterson, they have the auto load system. And with the Chobo, you have to put your fingers on the side for the film to keep feeding. But all in all, they are fairly easy to use, all of them. And so in my opinion, I would recommend you to go for any one pretty much. Because in the end, if you have a tank, for example, if you already have a tank, um, just go with um, the tank, whatever tank you have. Um, but then again, if you want to go into a new system, um, and if you're a beginner, I would suggest you to start out with the auto loading reels because loading film developing is a lot of, it involves a lot of practice at the very beginning. So therefore taking um, the problem of not loading your film properly onto the reel out of the whole process um, can be easifying for you. If you want to check out the film reels, make sure to go in the description. There's the link to all of them. Thanks guys for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.